all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here once again with some more full metal alchemist brotherhood today we're going to be doing two more episodes episodes 41 and 42 okay we're in the thick of things now last reaction last episodes we watch episode 40 man was a very revealing episode really liked it um you know and it just goes to tell us that now we're in the end game now like what is Ed Edward going to do to stop Fuhrer Bradley from creating another Philosopher's Stone and creating this immortality thing? I think um, dude homo homunculus in the flask or father, he's trying to do this thing again that he did before. I don't know who he's trying to make immortal. That's the thing too. Like, that's the question that I have now. Why is he trying to do this? Is he just trying to destroy the world? Who is he trying to make immortal? Because he's already immortal, correct? It's a muculus. He can't die. So, he's already immortal. So, who is he doing it for this time? And why is he going to take this many people? Why is he trying to create another person? Or trying to create, make another person immortal? Or is there another purpose for this Philosopher's Stone that he's trying to create? So, I think that's still up in the air. Those are questions that I have. So before we jump in, guys, I really do appreciate you guys. Remember, I know you guys that are watching this is on the YouTube channel and you probably don't even really watch my intros, but your boy is planning to, to start giving away stuff on the channel. And if you don't watch my intros and if you don't watch my reviews, you will not be entered into the contest and you will not pick up on the clues because I'm planning to do something very unique when it comes on to the people that wins the stuff on my channels. Okay, it's going to be very unique and it's going to be something that is according to my intros and my reviews if you can recall certain things. So if you're just rushing to go watch the episodes on the Google Drive, you're going to miss out on a chance and some great prizes okay the other thing i want to tell you guys is that hey they are um early access available for membership on the channel okay you can do that and get early access to animes that we're watching right now um so you can go and check those out i know they've just landed on the channel which is monster and slam dunk so if you're interested in any of those animes please consider signing up for early access so you can get to watch those episodes early when they drop because they will drop a week after on youtube okay i'm trying to catch back up because i missed a whole week of recording because of stuff i had to take care of personally so i just wanted you guys to know that to consider signing up for early access there's shows that are going on over there consistently once i get back in the groove by by monday by the time you're seeing this we're supposed to be back in the groove so i really do appreciate you guys of course so don't forget to like the video and i will see you guys for the review So that was episodes, what, 42, 40, <laughs> 41 and 42. So the brig, Briggs, is on, it's under attack. What can they do to survive this when we have Kimberly leading the attack? I would have never guessed that he would have, they, you know, Fuhrer would have approved him. I mean... I didn't think that he's that against things, but I guess it is. So we learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? We learned a lot, man, about this new thing. So Owenheim right now in this series, from one episode, this guy went to one of the, the least characters in the story that I, that I care, well, I cared about, but I, you know, I was curious to know what it was all about and why father looks like him but now he has become one of my favorite characters in the series and he doesn't get a lot of screen time <laughs> i don't know how they did it but they did it owenheim is a beast 
no doubt about it and i'm looking forward to see what else he's going to do he just declared war because he knows so much about them you know what i'm saying like he's been around i think he's probably been in every major city in that country by now he's been around for a long time as as long as any of the homunculus has been around to be honest he's probably been around longer than in, than than them i mean he's he, he, he's probably older than the original homunculus you know and now we understand why he splits himself into you know what i'm saying the seven deadly sins and all of this good stuff man this is one of the most incredible stories that i've watched in anime and i say this a lot because you guys keep suggesting fire anime for me to react to so i can't say anything else you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i can't really say anything else other than it's just it, it's amazing it's just an amazing story will it end up in my top five that is yet to be seen because I don't know I, I might have to categorize my I mean all time we'll see how it ends if it ends great you know I'm definitely going to let you guys know what my rating is of course for this series you know overall but right now is it's looking good it is looking good you know what I mean it is looking good right now so I, I i'm not going to count anything out yet i'm just hoping that they are sometimes when certain things happen in this anime where i'm just like hmm why but then there's sometimes where you know there are these hints these little things that happen in the anime that really makes me like yo this could be one of the greatest enemies of all times. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that holds this in very high regard, else it wouldn't be suggested on this channel. You guys know I love a good story and that's why you would even suggest this on the channel. So I know you guys are looking out, you, you understand my taste when it comes on to, to anything that I'm going to partake in or, you know, ingest if you want to call it that or or enjoy these are the kind of things that i like to watch man i like to watch a good story i feel more invested when i'm watching a good story and it's not just action 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 um so what i will be doing in upcoming on the channel something i'm planning to announce on the channel very soon um so but i'm not gonna say it here so let's just <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna say it here but i'm looking forward to seeing we got Major Armstrong now probably end up being a right hand woman to the Fuhrer. So we'll see how that how that turns out. As I said before, uh, hoping that nothing happens to her, of course, um, being so close to the Fuhrer. And um, I don't know if he knows who he can trust or whatever the situation is. But it's kind of funny that he ended up being Wrath, you know, by... You know taking in that um but but somebody was explaining i think in the comment section at one point that he his soul is so dominant and that's why he was able for that philosopher's stone that they put inside of him you know for for them not to take over because it's basically a philosopher's stone is basically a collective of souls right it's basically what a it's a um collective of um of souls right so even when ed was talking and he's like man i can't even imagine seeing one that big and he's already met a philosopher's stone it's so crazy that he's a uh, that you don't even coming from the first episode of the season to now where you know they're talking about philosopher's stone and they need a philosopher's stone you know what i'm saying not even knowing that you were you you are born a philosopher's stone basically you know what i'm saying if you want to call it that because in some way shape or the other he was able to copulate with their mother right so he's he, he's still human 
right? Because he was human, but he just gained immortality and has all these souls living inside of him, which makes him a philosopher's stone. And I think in some ways, maybe that is the reason why Edward was able to tap in to, you know, that kind of alchemy to heal himself or to even repair his wounds. I think in some ways he has a piece of that immortality with him it's possible that it's genetics passed down but i don't want to go into that territory because you know it it is a possibility that the genetics were passed down to him but i don't want to go into those go into that path where i'm saying okay you know i you know that's kind of not so believable you know what i mean so i don't want to go down that path of saying that as of yet you know but it is a possibility it's in the realm of possibilities so let's keep it at that but in any case guys that was awesome those were awesome two episodes i enjoy them now we're gonna dive into some more episodes at least for me <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always leave a like on the channel leave a comment let me know what you think of what's going on right now when this stuff was revealed how did you feel about it were you as shocked as me did you enjoy episode 40 as much as i did um of the of those revealing when those things were revealed i think we're in the end game now owenheim has declared war against father okay he knows they're coming we know you out there okay thank you guys so much appreciate y'all see you guys next time peace